Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Melissa and today's video is going to be all about my current makeup favorites. So if you want to find out what I use pretty much every day, keep watching. Before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you ring the bell notification to get updates about all my new videos. So moving right into it, I basically grabbed my bag from upstairs, my bathroom counter that has all the things that I use to get ready lately. Um, this doesn't have like makeup brushes or anything. I have that in like a little jar um, next to my sink, but it has all of the makeup products aside from my moisturizer and the brushes. Uh, so I guess we'll just get into it and I'll probably start from the beginning. So I'm gonna take out some of these palettes and stuff and put them over here. Um, so the first thing I do after I wash my face and then put on my moisturizer in the morning is I put on a primer. I have a couple ones that I like. Um, but this one consistently is a favorite of mine, and this is the Benefit the Professional uh, Primer. It's actually a little bit like tinted, uh, which I think is kind of cool. It just really makes your skin look, I don't know if you guys can see it, like blends into my finger. Um, it makes your skin look really flawless, and it makes the foundation application go on so much smoother. Um, so I definitely recommend a primer, and this is one of my favorite ones. I will try to link all the products I use down in the description box as well, so make sure to check that out um, if you want more information or are interested in purchasing any of those products. So the next thing I do after I put my primer on is I put on my foundation, and I use a beauty blender, which is also upstairs with my brushes, so I don't have that down here to show you, but I have been using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation for about a year now, and I do really like it. It is full coverage, and it has a broad spectrum SPF 15 sunscreen in it, which I think is really cool. Uh, they also have a really good color range. Um, I'm very, very fair, so I tend to have a difficult time finding that perfect shade. Um, and this actually ivory 13N color is a pretty much perfect match for me. Uh, and it doesn't break me out. I really, really love this formula. So I would highly recommend if you are looking for a really good foundation. Um, the other thing about this that I guess I'll mention is the reason I got turned on to this was because my dermatologist, I was breaking out and they said um, to look into like a, maybe I'm, I'll try to remember what they said. It was non-comedogenic, am I saying that right? Non-comedogenic uh, formula. And this is one of them. Um, and yeah, it doesn't break me out. So I really love that. So after my foundation goes on, I then grab my concealer. The last couple months, I've been really into the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I know I am super behind the times on that because this, I guess, came out a long time ago and it's been the business for a while. Um, but I do really, really like it. It doesn't crease. And it, again, has a really good color match for my skin, which is super important. After I'm done with my concealer, I typically will set underneath my eyes. Um, I do have a translucent setting powder upstairs with my brushes, which I believe, what brand is it? It might, it might be a Kat Von D. It might be that Kat Von D setting powder. Um, but if I'm in a hurry or I'm on the go, sometimes I'll just take a brush and I use the Kat Von D um, Locket powder foundation and I will just dip my brush into that and then set it with this instead of that. Um, so either one works for me. This is also my go-to compact that I keep in my purse for touching up my makeup during the day. I really do like this Locket Powder Foundation formula. I, for a long time, was using the Kat Von D liquid um, foundation, but that was one of the ones that my skin, for some reason, did not like. So um, the Tarte Foundation for me is a better choice, but I still do really like the Kat Von D line, so I like to use her um, pressed powder. When I'm done setting my concealer, I move on to um, contour and like bronzer, and I actually use the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. Um, I'm not gonna open this because mine is actually broken, and the two pieces like come apart and it's kind of a pain to put back together. Um, but this has all the basic colors that come in the kit and I use the two lighter ones all the time. Um, there are different ones you can order online to pop in and out to change the colors out, but I haven't found the need to do that. The colors that come in this are pretty versatile and they work for me just fine. Um, and I really do prefer a powder contour over liquid, I know that that's kind of like a debate right now, 
Um, I just, for some reason, always lean, always lean towards powder. And I've used this one for about a year now and I really like it. As far as blush goes, I love the Tarte blushes. Um, I have this palette, which I think I got last season, that has a bunch of really great colors in it. And these, these colors go really well with my skin tone, which is why I got the palette. Um, but they also have these little individual pots. This is another one of my favorite colors. It is Harmony. Uh, this one does not come in that palette, which is why I bought the individual, but it is a really, really, really pretty color. And I probably wear this one most days. Um, this just seems to go with like all my makeup looks pretty flawlessly. And I just love um, the way it blends. It doesn't, it's just really easy to blend out. Like it doesn't get splotchy. It doesn't take forever to buff out. It just goes on really easy. And I have five kids, so I need like to get ready in the least amount of time possible. And so the least blending and messing around with products I can do, the better. Typically when I'm done with my blush, I will move on to my brows. I did get powder brow tattooing done on my eyebrows earlier this year. So some days I don't do anything to them. Like today, I don't think I have any brow filler on them. But if I'm getting ready to go on like a date night or you know, it's like an event or something, I will sometimes just kind of sharpen them up, if that makes sense. Um, and I have like the little brow brush. Um, actually, that is the Anastasia, the one that goes with this. Um, this is my favorite brand of eyebrow powder. I, I don't like pencils. I really prefer powder. And the Anastasia brand has a bunch of different color combos. I use the Soft Brown Powder Duo, um, but I know that they have like a huge selection to pretty much match anybody's skin and hair, hair color. Um, so this has definitely been a favorite. I've been using this one for a very, very long time. And it's funny because the last one that I had, um, the sticker on the back had like completely, like, like you couldn't even read it anymore. And I was making a video with Gabrielle on the vlog channel where I was talking about it and I could not remember what it was, where, who made it. And so I was like, telling people, I was like, tell me if you know, if you recognize. And I called it like a butterfly because that's what their logo looks like to me. And then everybody corrected me in the comments and was like, that's Anastasia, idiot. It's not a butterfly. That's their, <laughs> their logo. So now I'll never forget because you guys reminded me. Um, but this is a really, really great product. So if you do fill in your brows, I highly recommend. After brows, I move on to my eye makeup. Some days I don't wear any. Um, eyeshadow at all and then other days I will go lately it's been more of like a neutral look I have been really loving this nude palette from is it Huda 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 Beauty I don't know I'm not a makeup professional um, but I do really love the colors in this palette um, I find that they go really well with my skin tone and they're just very natural looking I've actually hit pan on a couple of them you can tell this is like one of my favorite colors uh, so since I've had this palette, I've been using it a lot. Um, and actually people have asked in on this channel and on the vlog channel, what eyeshadow, what eyeshadow are you wearing? I probably was wearing this if you asked what eyeshadow I was wearing, but I do something a little weird. Um, I really like the mattes in this palette a lot. There are some sparkle shades, but they're very, very, very sparkly. And so on a normal day, I don't typically want that kind of like high impact look. So I will do kind of like a nude base with this palette and then I'll go in with a shimmer from another palette. And one of my favorite palettes for that recently is this Tarte palette, which I don't remember the name of it, but it was came out, out around the holidays. I think this might've been a holiday kit. Um, and it came in this pineapple uh, packaging, which I thought was amazing. And inside this, I actually love this for travel too, because it has blushes and like contour bronzer and stuff. But in this palette, there's a bunch of really, I don't wanna like blind you guys with the mirror. There are a bunch of really awesome, shimmery, but like not in your face sparkly shadows. And so a lot of times I will take one of these like lighter ones at the top here, or one of the ones in the middle there, and I will go over the other shadow when I'm blending it out. And I just really like the way that it looks. Um, and yeah, this one has been traveling with me for the last couple months just because I, I feel like this case makes it like indestructible for travel, which I love. And I love that it has such a large assortment of shadows and also the blushes and bronzer. So if I, for some reason, don't wanna travel with like all my other ones, 
this kind of takes care of everything. Now on nights where, you know, Jeff and I have a date night or I'm going out with the girlfriends or anything like that and I want something that's a more high impact look, I know this came out like a season or two ago, but I do really like the Fenty Beauty um, Shimmer Palette. It's called Galaxy. I don't know if I can open it. And again, I don't want to blind you guys, but these shadows are all sparkly and they are not really an on your own shadow. These have to kind of go over something else to really make them pop. Um, but I love to apply some of these shades wet over another shadow and it looks amazing and I always get compliments on it. Uh, so this is one that technically, yeah, it's not like a every day, but I do like travel with it a lot because like if we're going out or we have events or something to go to and I want something a little fancy, this is typically what I reach for. After I'm done with eyeshadow, um, sometimes that's all I do. Um, I don't wear eyeliner every day. I used to wear a lot more. Today I am wearing it. Um, when I do wear eyeliner, there's a couple ones that I love and recommend. One is a new favorite and I think the other two I've been using for quite a while and I might have mentioned them in a vlog or something. Um, my new favorite, which I love um, because it's waterproof and it seems to last forever, uh, is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Uh, it's like a gel pen that twists up, which I love because I hate sharpening things. And I always lose those little like makeup sharpeners. Um, this one actually was sent to me, I think it was like an Ipsy bag, like a mini one. And it's one of those products that I tried out and then I loved it so much that I bought the full size. And there are a bunch of other colors, but this is just, I think, the matte black. Um, and I really, really do enjoy this product. Um, one that is always a go-to for me that, again, comes in many colors, and I have many colors, but typically I wear um, the matte black, is the Sephora Retractable Eyeliner. This one is super affordable. It wears amazing. It's not water, oh, it says it's waterproof. That would be kind of a stretch to say it's like fully waterproof, but it does wear really, really well. And I feel like I've been using this for like five years and I have not found one that I like more than this. So I think it's less than 10 bucks, comes in a ton of colors, and you know, it's just a really great value. It's one definitely one of my favorites. Now for my upper lash line, if I'm gonna do a liner, my favorite liner in the whole world is the Kat Von D Liquid Liner. And this has been controversial because there are actually two different kinds of these. There's one that has like a brush, like a felt, it has like a felt tip, like a marker, and then there's one that has a softer brush tip that like is very flexible and gives you a lot of control. My opinion is that the felt brush tip one is garbage. I really, really don't like it. It's stiff, hard to use. It hurts, I feel like, when I'm putting it on. Um, and I think a lot of people buy that one on accident thinking that they're getting this one because they look seriously identical. I've actually bought it on accident because I didn't double check and read the side of it. Um, so maybe, you know, as somebody from Kat Von D's team ever sees this video, um, maybe differentiate between the two in a different way, like by changing the packaging slightly, um, because this brush tip one is the business. Uh, I don't use it on my lower lash line. I typically use a Sephora one for that, but on the upper lash line, this stuff is waterproof. It lasts days if you want it to. Like I've seriously like gone to sleep with makeup on and my eyeliner still looked amazing in the morning and I've gone swimming in this and it's really awesome and it works really great. Right now, I'm wearing lash extensions, so I don't regularly wear mascara. If I do wear mascara, it's typically just on my lower lashes, um, or if I missed an appointment for a lash fill and things are looking a little janky, that last week before I go in, sometimes I'll put a little mascara on the top as well. Um, I know you're not supposed to do that. They tell you not to do that, but I figure it's like at the end of it, they're gonna be taken off anyway, so if it helps me get a couple days out of them, I, I will do it, so I'm, break, I'm a rule breaker as far as that goes. So when I do wear mascara, um, one of the ones that I have been liking, um, actually, you know what, I feel like they're kind of winning all the time with mascara. I really like this Tarte Maneater one. This was sent to me in an Ipsy bag, and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, they also have one that comes in a brown tube that I cannot remember for the life of me what the name of it is. Really like that one as well. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. Um, and then other than that, 
I really like IT Cosmetics uh, mascara, but currently I'm not using that one. This is the one that's been in my bag. Uh, but I would say that the IT Cosmetics one is probably on my list of like all time favorites um, as well. So I'll probably, if I can find the link, I'll leave that down in the description box too, even though I'm not showing it to you guys because I mentioned it so you guys can kind of see which one I'm talking about. So the last thing I do is put on a lip product and I do have some new favorites to share with you guys for that. I feel like I changed up my products a couple months ago and I'm really liking what I'm using right now. I'm actually wearing it in this video. So if you guys like how it looks, um, all that will be linked down below. Um, so shopping at CVS recently and I had a coupon for an Alme product. And then also like if you shop at CVS, you know that they give you like those weird receipt things where it's like special deals. And one of those had an Alme like thing on it too, like a cashback thing. So I ended up getting some lipstick from them, which I'd never bought before. And it is this Go Wild one in the color Go Wild. Okay. So it's a lipstick and it looks like this and they have other colors, but this color I really liked because I tend to wear nude lipsticks and I thought that the tone was really good for me. I'm blown away by how much I love this lipstick. Like I, I was really kind of like, eh, probably not going to like it. I'll give it to the girls, see if they like it. Um, but I use it almost every day now and I actually bought a backup one the last time I was at the drugstore because I liked it so much. So super affordable. I want to say it was like, well, I got it for free basically, but I think the retail was like $6.99 or something. Definitely recommend this line. It's super moisturizing and the colors are so pretty. I kind of want to go back and get some of the other colors now too. Another product that I'll wear, uh, which this is the one I'm wearing today actually, is the Tarte Tartist Tartiest Lip Paint. And this is in the color Birthday Suit. Uh, this is a product that I think was in my Sephora birthday gift one year, like last year, and it was a little tube. And I used all of it and then threw it out and forgot about it. And then the last time I went shopping at Sephora with Gabby, I was looking at all the different lipsticks, liquid lipsticks and stuff. And I saw this color and I was like, oh, I love that one. <laughs> so I got the full size tube and it is definitely amazing it lasts like all day and i don't know it's just phenomenal if you haven't tried it you should definitely try it and then typically when i do that because i don't really like a matte lip um i go over with a gloss and my favorite gloss for the last like two years is buxom uh this color is white russian probably one of my all-time favorites there is another color that i like too and I can't remember the name of it, but if I can, I will leave it linked in the description box as well. But I really love this to go over and soften some of the other darker lipsticks. And it's also minty and it's kind of like a lip plumper. So I know it just feels really nice. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching me chat all about my favorite cosmetics products. If you have any ideas for future videos you want to see me make, beauty related or otherwise, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.